the gastroenterologist could take a step back and that would save appointments for gastroenterologists, release time for the celiac nurse to be able to do more endoscopies. We're really pioneering and leading the way in Bradford. Celiac disease is a condition where your immune system attacks your own tissues when you eat gluten. This damages your gut so your body cannot properly take in nutrients and can cause severe abdominal pain and bloating. In recent years, more people with celiac disease are seeking diagnosis and care. And to meet this demand, we have introduced a groundbreaking dietitian led celiac service that's improved patient care making it more efficient and centred on the needs of each patient. Today, we hear from Christian Costas, specialist gastroenterology dietitian, and Jessica Wild, catering and nutrition improvement dietitian, all about this innovative new approach. Our dietitian-led celiac service has now been running for around five years and essentially this was set up because previously what happened was that our celiac disease patients were mainly supported or managed by our gastroenterologist and a celiac nurse and essentially these health professionals didn't have the adequate training and knowledge with regards to the gluten-free diet, which meant a lot of these patients were not aware of how to follow the diet, they kept on having symptoms and issues and they didn't know how to get better or how to follow the gluten-free diet. We got together with our gastroenterologists and agreed a pathway where the dietitian could be the main health professional. That meant the gastroenterologist could take a step back and that would save appointments for gastroenterologists, release time for the celiac nurse to be able to do more endoscopies. Hey there, do you want to take a seat yeah, there? Yeah, thank me? you very much. This is a very cost-effective service because dietitians are not only cheaper than gastroenterologists, but actually were placed in a good position to better train patients on how to follow the gluten-free diet and keep them well, which means their symptoms resolve quicker and we don't need to do as many blood tests, we don't need to do as many investigations. That will make you know labeling a lot easier when you're looking out for these ingredients. And you'll see one of the other challenges we found is that many patients we manage well as outpatients, but when they come into hospital, uh, from a catering point of view, it can be quite challenging to offer them safe meals consistently. Food hypersensitivity includes food intolerance, food allergy, as well as celiac disease itself. And it can be minor symptoms with food allergy, which are short lasting, but it can, on the extreme side, result in anaphylaxis and can be fatal for some patients. I work really closely with our catering team, in particular Michelle, who's our head of catering. We look at trying to help with making sure that any hospital food that we provide, so menu development, meets the needs of patients. It covers what food law it encompasses, which I think is in yeah, the food I think hygiene that's, policy. I think that's where I, so it does sort of. I worked really closely with the Beat team and we developed an e learning package. And there's also a food safety awareness training, so essentially covering food hygiene that's available. My longer term hope would be that it would be included as mandatory training and also for the training to be every two years, ideally, just to keep people refreshed because we know that sort of once we've done that training, it's great initial awareness, but it's easy to forget. started to collect outcomes and I then went back to university, analysed this data properly, did a master's dissertation, got that published in the Journal of Human Nutrition and Dietetics. And essentially what this publication shows is that having people with the right expertise can help this group of patients significantly. Writing this journal and getting it published has helped to put in another business case which got approved last year to show that this service is so cost effective that we had another dietitian would be saving the trust even more money. And now we have another dietitian supporting the service where we're also using digital forms to manage a higher volume of patients with not as many staff, which has been very successful. So the future is looking extremely bright. We're already working with 
different gastroenterologists, dietitians and hospitals from around the world were extremely interested in setting up similar services or having dietitian led services, more specialist celiac disease dietitians, mainly because we've put so much of an effort into collecting outcomes and publishing them. And that's why we're really pioneering and leading the way in Bradford with this huge movement of celiac disease. And I'm extremely proud to be working in Bradford leading the way. Thank you.